There are two ways to write fractions that are greater than one whole. Today we're going to look at pictures of fractions that are greater than one whole, and I'll show you both ways to write them. So first, um, we're going to look at some fraction bars here. We have to be in agreement that this is one whole. It takes one part to make the whole. This is also the same size. It's one whole, but it takes two parts to make the whole, or two halves. This is another whole, but this time it's broken up into three parts to make the whole, or three-thirds. And finally, this is another whole, and it takes four parts to make up the whole, or four-fourths. Looking at each unit fraction, we can tell that one-fourth is a little bit smaller than one-third, which is a little bit smaller than one-half, which is a lot smaller than one whole. So unit fractions the lower the, the the bigger the denominator is on the bottom, the more pieces there are, or more parts to the whole, and the smaller the pieces get. So one half is a much bigger piece than one fourth. Now that we know that, let's look at our pieces themselves, and let's figure out how to write these fractions that are greater than a whole. Okay, so we're in agreement that this black piece here is one whole. So now we have one, two, three, four blue pieces. And each of these parts or pieces are equal to one half. So if I were to count them, I'm going to count one half, two halves, and two halves make a whole, three halves, four halves. I have four halves here. And I can write it like this, four halves, one, two, three, four halves. Or I could write it as two wholes, the number two. If this is one, then two of them equals two. Now let's look at the red one. Okay, We agreed that this is one whole right here, and we also said that three thirds make a whole. So let's count the thirds. One third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds. And if I were to write it as a mixed number, I know 3 thirds makes one whole. And there's an extra third right here. So the other way I could write it would be 1 and 1 third. 4 thirds, or 1 and 1 third. Let's look at our last model here and try to figure out the two ways to write the fraction. We've got 4 fourths here. And I know that that equals a whole. And then we have three extra fourths. So one, two, three, four fourths, five, six, seven fourths. And the other way to write it would be four fourths makes a whole, and three extra fourths would be my fraction. So then that's a mixed number. Four halves. 4 thirds, 7 fourths, fractions that are greater than one whole.